Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in our operating system that is producer consumer problem. Producer consumer problem. So actually in our previous session, we are discussing about the process synchronization. So we have seen different types of processes and in that particularly if you are using the cooperative process then it requires the process synchronization because it, in the in, uh, cooperative process the memory will be shared among different processes so that the data will be inconsistent. So that's why we require some process synchronization in cooperative processes. So one such problem which requires the process synchronization is the producer consumer problem. So here we are having a two processes. So let me explain this one. Uh, we are having two processes. One is, is called a producer. Producer. So produces the product, produces a product and place it in a buffer we call it as in memory right we call it as in memory so the the work of a producer is always produces the products and place those products in a buffer that we call it as a memory and the second process is a consumer consumer so the name itself indicates the consumer consumes the product consumes the product which was placed which was placed in a buffer we call it as a memory by the producer by the producer so actually so the consumer work is to consume the products from the buffer so it takes the product from the buffer and consumes it right so here both the processes are working with the buffer so this is a shared memory right so both are working with the buffers so we let us consider this one this is a buffer buffer or we can call it as a memory memory so here see these are all products produced by the producer and these are all products consumed by consumer by consumer products placed by producer right so producer will keep on uh, placing the products in the buffer and from the same buffer products will be consumed by the consumer so this is the, the shared memory this is the shared memory so both are using the same memory Right? Both are using the same memory. So here there are two conditions that the producer and the consumer need to satisfy before placing the products into the buffer or consuming the products from the buffer. Right? So what is the condition that should be satisfied by the producer? I'll write here. I'll write the condition here. So two conditions. One for producer and another should be followed by the consumer. So condition at producer side, at producer side. So what is the condition? So before placing the product into the buffer, before placing product into buffer, producer have to check whether the buffer is full or not. 
so if buffer is full the producer can't place the products into the buffer so there should be some space in the buffer to place the product into the memory so before placing a product into a buffer producer have to check have to check buffer is not full if buffer is full the producer can't place the product into the buffer right so here it is a memory so there will be some sort of uh, memory allocated for this particular buffer so if buffer is full that means a memory is full so we can't place the products into the buffer so producer have to wait until uh, the some sort of memory is released that means some sort of products should be consumed by the consumer so similarly so this is a condition at a product producer side right next condition need to check at consumer side so obviously so before consuming the product before requesting the product from the memory so this consumer have to check whether buffer is not empty so if buffer buffer is empty that implies there is no product in the buffer so how the consumer can consume the product from the buffer so during the consumption the consumer have to check whether the buffer is not empty so if it is an empty we can't i mean the consumer can't consume the products right so before consuming product before consuming product from buffer consumer have to check buffer is not empty buffer is not empty so if buffer is empty the consumer can't uh, get the product from the buffer right so in order to uh, access this uh, products from the buffer so one count will be maintained here so count is nothing but shared variable shared variable right so count is nothing but shared variable shared variable so uh, in order to check whether buffer is empty or buffer is a full so for that purpose this count variable will be used and in this producer side whenever the producer places the product the count will be incremented count will be incremented count will be incremented at the consumer side whenever one product is consumed from the buffer the count will be decremented the count will be decremented right so this count is nothing but a shared variable in order to check the size of the buffer whether the buffer is full or empty whether the products are available in the buffer to consume or whether the buffer is not i mean uh, not able to place the products into the buffer for that purpose we are using this count count is nothing but a normal integer variable so which is nothing but a shared variable that will be shared among both the product producer and the consumer so whenever the producer place the product into the buffer immediately the count will be incremented by one by the producer so whenever the consumer consumes the product from the buffer immediately the count will be decremented by the consumer right see for example for example you can observe here let it be this is a memory this is a memory okay so this is a producer side and this is a consumer side what happens initially the count is zero initially the count is zero because that means a buffer memory is empty right so there are 
count represents the number of products available in the buffer number of products available in the buffer so the producer first check with the count so whether count is not equal to buffer size buffer size whether whether count not equal to buffer size if it is not equal to buffer size then place the product into the buffer okay so place the product into buffer place the product into buffer and immediately increment the count value so the count will be incremented count will be incremented right so you can observe here so these steps will be continuously executed right these steps are continuously executed because that is a never ending process that is a never ending process so producer always produce the product okay and consumer always consumes the product by the uh, from the memory right so this happens at the producer side if if it satisfies all those things one product will be updated here and again if this condition is true again another product will be included next if again condition another product another product like that the products will be sent to the buffer and here whenever so first condition we have to check at the consumer side whether the buffer size is empty that means whether the count not equal to zero if the count is not equal to zero okay if count is not equal to zero if count is zero that implies that there is no products in the memory so count means number of products right so i'll write here so i'll write here see count count means number of products in buffer number of products in buffer so if count is not equal to zero that implies there are some products available in the buffer so then immediately see the products will be consumed the products will be consumed so consume the product the product will be consumed and immediately the count value will be decremented by 1 the count value will be decremented by 1 right so whenever there is a not equal to zero one process one product will be consumed similarly the same process will be continued so this is also a never ending process this is also a never ending process so always the producer produces the product and always the consumer consumes the product right so hope you understood so now we will see the same concept so this is a normal logic okay we will see the same logic implementing by the processor so because in the processor everything will be uh, executed with with help of registers right so we will write the same thing we will write the same thing in the register format okay in the registers format see producer in the producer side i write instruction 1 what is the instruction 1 so r1 will be initialized to count so whatever the count that means the number of uh, products which are available in the memory will be initialized to register 1 and immediately whenever the producer produces a product that means a place a product in the um, this one that means a memory R1 will be incremented. So R1 is equal to R1 plus one. So one it will be incremented to one. Immediately we have to update that, right? So the count should be updated to R1. The count should be updated to R1, right? Next, let us take about the consumer. Let us take about the consumer. So let us take the instruction four. Instruction four. uh here the same memory you no know? so register 2 the count will be initialized to register 2 and i5 immediately whenever a one product is consumed the r2 must be decremented with 1 
and i6 we have to update the count right so the count is now r2 after decrementing count will be r2 right now for example if processor executes the instructions right if processor executes the instructions so i'll erase this one see if the processor execute the instruction so i write here instruction execution right so let us assume assume the count of buffer is some four that means there are some four products available in the memory okay four four products are available in the memory so first let us write down instruction 1 instruction 1 so what is the instruction 1 r1 is equal to count which is initialized with 4 so r1 is having 4 so immediately after placing the product a new product produced by the producer into the memory the instruction 2 if let us suppose instruction 2 so r2 sorry r1 right so r1 is updated with 1 that implies r1 now will be 5 r1 now will be 5 next after updation let us assume i4 is being executed so another process so because at the same time two processors are sharing the same memory two processes are sharing the same uh, variables shared variables right so that's why let us assume i4 is executed okay in a priority i4 is executed so i4 is executed so r2 is equal to count so what is the count value here the count value is 4 because not at updated by i2 after i2 count is not updated so count value is 4 so r2 the value will be 4 and then immediately i5 is executed so r2 is equal to r2 minus 1 so which is nothing but r2 is equal to 3 next i6 is executed which is nothing but count is equal to r2 so now the count value is 3 then i3 is executed so count is equal to r1 so where the count will be 5 count will be 5 so so actually what happens here so whenever the count is 4 the count is 4 whenever producer produces a product then count will be 5 and whenever consumer consumes the product the count will be 4 right so whenever the product is uh, producer place the product into the buffer the count will be 5 consumer consumes the product count will be 4 so so initially let us take some four products are available in the memory so after one production and one consumption the count will be remains 4 right but what happens in this case so two processes are sharing the same memory and executing parallelly right so here we are having the two values for a count count is equal to 3 and count is equal to 5 so there are two different values so this is called data inconsistent data inconsistent right now according to producer the count value is 5 according to the consumer the count value is 3 so there is a dilemma so which one is a correct one so this type of condition is called a race condition this type of condition we call it as a race condition so both the processor are in a race to justify the correct value the count is 3 according to consumer count is 5 according to the producer so this is called race condition and in this process we are having the data inconsistent 
So such a type of process will require the process synchronization. Process synchronization. So this is one major problem, one among different problems. There are different problems. So this is one among different problems where we require this process synchronization. Right? So hope you understood this producer consumer problem. Right. So two processes that is a producer and a consumer. So after calculating or after executing the different instructions from the producer and the consumer. So we are having a different values. That means the data inconsistent. Right. So to, to avoid this one. So we have to use this process synchronization. Right. So let's stop here. Hope you understood this uh, process uh, producer consumer problem. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.